I was wondering if if um, do you have a video of the crazy mite that that uh, Ken might be able to pull up or? Yeah, I mean, there's one that, uh, because I have it on my computer, but I cannot. Sorry, it's not. It's. I was wondering if it was on your website. Uh, Layton, no, I don't I, know if you've seen the crazy mite. Not yet. No, I haven't. Is this something that was bred, or is it just something that popped out of nature? So, Anistis baccarum, uh, aka the whirly gig mite, aka with the the trademark name, the crazy mite, what you eat. Um, yeah, CR a Z E E or yeah. C R A Z E E. Yeah. So Anistis baccarum was rediscovered, in fact, by Taro Saito. A researcher working uh, at the Vineland Research Station in Ontario. That's a agricultural research station that works a lot on bio biological control. And they he was walking in the field with his son, uh, teaching him what nature is. Uh, this is a bee. This is a flower. And what is this, Dad? And Dad looks, and at the same time, it it sees that big orange predatory spider jump on a fly or something like that. So he said, oh, oh, you're coming with me. So we captured it, brought it back to the lab, and they've been working with it for years. Before, before they, they were able, with a lot of research, to find a way to rear them commercially. Because they'll be cannibalistic tendencies. So these type of species that have te cannibalistic tendencies, it's an extra challenge to try to rear them in a way that's efficient and you can produce as many as you want, scaling, scaling, scaling it up. And uh, so we found a way to rear them commercially. And now it's been almost a year. We've been distributing it, them across Canada. And we're still learning about it all the time. 